so hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will continue our work on the view button so in the previous video we left our work on this variable user com name so we will continue it from here after getting the user id and the user the user name uh, now we will get the post id and then post content and all of that and then we will display it so we will type an if condition if i set dollar underscore get bracket single quotes post underscore id and uh, in this curly brackets we will type post underscore id it will be equals to dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id so outside this if condition over here we will create a variable get underscore post and it will be equals to add double quotes and then select all from uh, the users table where post underscore id will be equals to the dollar post underscore id variable close that and guys for now we just need the post underscore id not all of that table so it will be just select post underscore id and after this we will create a variable run underscore user and equal to my sqli underscore query then we will pass the connection variable and uh, the get underscore post variable and now we will create a variable post underscore id it will be equals to dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id so now create a variable get underscore user it will be equals to select all from the post table where post underscore id will be equals to the dollar post and that's it and then create a variable run underscore user then my sqli underscore query i will explain this in a minute so connection variable and then the get underscore user variable pass both of these variables in my sqli underscore query then dollar row will be equals to my sqli underscore fetch array then run underscore user variable and now we will create a variable p underscore id means post underscore id and it will be equals to row brackets and then post underscore id so over here we take the post id from the url and then we just type select post id from that users table and then we pass uh, the connection variable then the get underscore post variable and then we create a variable post underscore id and it is equals to that get underscore dollar underscore get and then the post underscore id and then we just type a query select all from the post where post underscore id will be equals to a dollar post variable and then we type that my sql iq and then the fetch array and then we create a variable p underscore id and it is equals to the post id so now in this if condition we will say that if p underscore id is not equals to the post underscore id variable this means that 
if the user click on this post and if he didn't get to this post uh, view then uh, we will just show the some kind of alert and then we will send them back to the to some page or file so for that we will type echo and then script we will close that script and over here we will type alert and then single quotes we will just type error that's it and we will again type echo and uh, inside this echo tag open up script tag and over here we will type window dot open then the home.php we will redirect them to the home.php file and uh, then we'll type underscore self and that's it and then else so if the user did make his way to that post then we will show them that post we will show them that three types of post in this else condition but we already did that in on the get underscore post function so we can just copy all of that from here okay so we will just copy this and then the else if and then the else condition over here because the else oh okay so the else condition ends over here so we will just copy all of that and then we will paste it in this else condition and that's it we will just give some space over here and then we will type else not inching e and d i n g ending that's it and after this uh, we will include the the i think its name is comment.php we will create this file in the next video okay the I think it's comments.php okay so we will just comment that for now and now over here we will type echo and then inside this echo we will now create a text area for the user to comment on someone's post so we will open up a div close that div and uh, the div class will be equals to row and then we will open up another div uh, over here and uh, class will be equals to call hyphen md hyphen 6 and then call hyphen md hyphen offset hyphen 3 and then inside this div we will open up another div and uh, its class will be equals to panel and then panel hyphen info and then we will open up another div and its class will be equals to 
panel hyphen body and now inside this div we will make or create our form so form and uh, action will be equals to nothing method will be equals to post and class will be equals to form hyphen inline and then over here we'll type text area close that text area tag and the text area place holder will be equals to write your comment here class will be equals to pb hyphen cmn t hyphen text area and then name will be equals to comment then we will create a button and the button class will be equals to btn btn hyphen info and then pull hyphen right remove that single code from there and then paste it over here and name will be equals to reply and then oops we didn't add a equal sign and then we will type comment and that's it and now we need to write the PHP code for submitting this forum so for that over here we will type if I set dollar underscore post and then the reply button is clicked then what we will do is to make a button or variable comment it will be equals to html entities then dollar underscore post this html entities will stop any kind of php codes or html codes to execute in our database so if dollar comment is equal and double equals and then is equals to means null so if the comment so if the user it means that if the user didn't write anything in the comment text area then we will uh, echo out an alert and the alert will be enter your comment and then we will redirect them to that post again which a user clicked on so for that we will type echo and then script window.open and over here we will just type single.php question mark post underscore id will be equals to the dollar post underscore id and that's it and uh, if the user enter his post or her post then we will insert that post so dollar insert will be equals to insert into the comments table then post underscore id and then the user underscore id we will create this comments table and also the comments.php file in the next video so don't worry for now so user underscore id then comment and after that i think we 
add a comment underscore author and then date remove that o and add m because it's comment and after the comment holder we have a date and that's it okay so we need that after the bracket and then we will add a values so values will be I know it's a little bit confusing but uh, once we create that comments and then the comments.php file then you will understand all of these variables this post variable because we I think we create this post variable on the comments.php file okay so don't be confused so the values the first one is the post underscore ID and after that the next one will be the dollar user underscore ID and then the comment and then the user underscore com underscore name and then the now means the time the present time and that's it now we will create a variable run and it will be equals to my sql i underscore query then we will pass the connection variable and then the insert variable and then we will echo an alert so we can just copy this and after this run we will just paste it over here add a double quotes and then ending a semicolon and change this to your comment added and that's it and one thing we miss up over here wait, 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 over here I think it's not dollar user underscore email it's will be the dollar user underscore com because it's user underscore com okay so on the 230 line I change this to user underscore com because if this is user underscore email then it will give us this error okay now if I just change this to user underscore com then the error is gone and we have few more errors don't be confused this is that single dot php file okay I mean the comments file so the next error on is on the 233 line 233 my and the next error is on the 239 239 okay change this to I set and now if we refresh our page the error page is gone so the reason it sent back us to, to the home.php file because we didn't create the comments table and also the this comments.php file so in the next video we will create both of this table and this comments.php file so don't worry guys we will create this in the next video and if you like this video then please subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon thank you